Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Ghent have gone with what looks like an orthodox 4-4-2, Jim. I think it gets a, a terrible raw deal these days. It's deemed old-fashioned, outdated, but in truth, with the, the right personnel, it works just as well as, as any other system or formation. Success can still be had with it. And teams are still winning big trophies with exactly this setup. There's the whistle. The pot. Bujalski. And helps available out wide. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The movement was good, but the pass lacked authority. Uh, a cause of mild frustration. It's a brilliant interception. He's it out of harm's way. Ajija Afo. Just brushed off the ball there. Looks to dink one in. Is there any support? He might not need it. Dinamo Kiev have it back and they can go again. Bujalski lobs it in gently. No messing about, just bludgeoned away. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. And they've been... There's the shots! I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in. Has a goal! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Tries to get it clear. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Going through. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Ghent seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No? No, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Here's the poor trap. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Too much distance on that. Tries to dink it in. Hoists it forward. No change to the score. Nil nil it remains. Both sides a bit lacking in intent. And it's been taken straight back. The question, that's a foul.
and he just whacks it away. He's had a shot! Oh, just lacks a decent finish. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. He's got options out wide. Gets it back. Plays it out to the flank. Right through the middle. Gets away from his opponents. Can he dig out a shot? Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right. And he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. No goals as yet. Jitja Afo. Chip through. Nicely measured pass. He's a real chance! And he's done it! And Dinamo Kiev take the lead! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Dinamo Kiev take the lead. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. And it's played forward. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. De Pocha plays it out to the wing. Gets it in. Goes for goal! And that'll be the last act of the first half. So there you have it, a close fourth half of football. The still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. That was a decent game up to now. Reflections on the first half. At least Peter, not conceding another goal, has kept them in this game and they can up their response in this second half. Dinamo Kiev, happy to have the lead in a title game. Half time, 1 0. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Dinamo Kiev carrying a one goal lead. Dupotra receives it in a wide position. Can he deliver? Forward it goes, out to the left it goes, gets the better of his man. Pichicha a foul. The pot. And it's dealt with by the outrushing keeper. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Ghent uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's... Has a hit! Oh, taken with style! Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their level. Well, I think there's a few trying to claim offside, but he looks to have been on. Yeah, he was on. That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, look, Peter, there's a great ebb and flow to this clash, and it's above all expectations for me. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? It's the quote. Tries to get it forward quickly. The 
They get a throw in. Task needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Ojicha Ofo. Ojicha Ofo drives it forward, goes long. De Potter and his flag offside. He's picked him out. Surely hits one! And the follow up. He scores! Into the lead once more. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. That's just top-notch, showed exactly why he follows it up every time. Keeper struggles to hold on to it, ball breaks kindly, he's always about. Dinamo Kiev take the lead. Ghent can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Battles to win it back. Now the counter. Dinks one in. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Well played, he saw that coming. Gets good distance on it. Not a good throw at all, really. He's given away possession cheaply. Dinamo Kiev are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. the through ball he gets past his man that's a mistimed tackle and it is a penalty and that is a huge moment in the context of the game and he scores back in business he was just never going to miss well, that's about as cheeky as it comes, by going right down the middle, it may have backfired, but it's worked for him this time. So, all square, and not for the first time. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored, you can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And helps available out wide. Be a corner. Ghent are making a change now. Well, the referee's seen the board and he's up he gets! And the ball's come out! Dinamo Kiev merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. De Quatre provides an outlet. De Quatre. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Keeper's ball. Ghent have to get it into the box and quickly. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. De Quatre has got himself a free kick. Oh, that is rather wayward. Oh, 
ball needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. And that's sprayed out wide. It is now or never, time is against them. And time is up. So nothing between them after all of that, and you can't really argue with the result. Well, the manager too unhappy with the outcome.